Hey y'all, and welcome back to another Tuesday topic. This is your host, Top Dot. Um, tonight we're gonna get into this Colin Kaepernick workout. I'd want to know Colin Kaepernick martyr or mess. Now, the reason I, I put it in that format is because the martyr part is due to him taking the knee, as y'all already know, um, and all of that, that came with that. And the mess part is the workout that's been that went on. So and I'm gonna give my little opinion first, and then I'm gonna, you know, go ahead and spit a couple of little facts about it. But in my opinion, I don't see nothing wrong with him switching up his workout or his uh, workout location due to improper papering and improper um, management of the situation because both parties got their own different story. The NFL and ESPN specifically want to spin it like he let down Jay-Z and I guess whoever he's, whoever supports Colin Kaepernick and is rallying for him. And I guess they are saying like it's a bit let it was a big letdown and all. So I don't feel that it was a letdown. Um I don't feel that Colin Kaepernick did nothing wrong by reading the situation and switching the whole thing, still making it in his favor, you know, while trying to prove a point. Um, it was improper communications going on. You know, it was improper channels uh, being tapped into. So it wasn't for the right thing, in my opinion. Um, from the overview that I got of it, it, it was basically going to be a sham. It was going to be them getting um, their own type of personal footage of, of Colin, you know what I'm saying, throwing and everything. And they were going to hook him up with some tainted receivers and tainted running backs, you know, people that's going to drop the ball or... Uh, when he throw a, a deep pass, they're going to purposely not catch the ball and things of that nature to make him look rusty and out of shape so he won't be able to get a job. But he felt like he was being played. So what he did was he switched location at the time and he took it from being about them to making it about him. You know, once again, which it is, he trying to work out for a job, you know. So that's what he did. Um, I feel that if you are going into a job and you know your qualifications for the job and everybody else know your qualifications for the job, but the people at the job know your, know what you can do, but they want you to extra prove on top of that, which is almost like running into a brick wall, trying to push a brick wall over. Most humans can't push brick walls over, you know, if you can, then. I need to know what your your training regimen is, but if, if most humans, most normal human beings, they can't push over walls. So that man can only do what he can do, and he can't do no more than that. You know, he now he ain't a superhero. And I guess him kneeling, it, it stirred up some real deep emotions in some people. So now he out of a job, and he got to squander and do workouts and all of this stuff because... He just simply took um, a stance that he felt was necessary. Um, also, all these other little little critics like Stephen A. Smith and all these other cats out here talking about how he um, is lucky that they're giving him a shot and how he um, let himself down and he can't be going in there asking him this, that, and the third. Man, yes, he can. He's a grown man. Why can't you go in there? And, and ask for something that you want and you know that you can do. You know you can put forth what they're asking for. Why not go in there and say, hey, if I can put forth in, can y'all do this on my end? The only thing he asking is, yo, y'all stop blackballing me and let me go ahead and go to one of these clubs and show them that I can still do something. You know what I'm saying? I'm still interested in playing for y'all. I ain't obliterating y'all, yo, um, image or nothing like that. I'm just saying, yo, listen, what's up, man? Can I get up in here and play? Y'all, y'all don't like me taking the knee? Okay, I won't even take it. He even said that he did. I won't even take the knee, but I'm still fighting for what I believe in and all of that. But I even respect y'all and not do nothing like that on y'all field. So he's halfway formatting to they, they demands and stuff. 
And I guess people is mad at him for not fully formatting to um, the way that uh, they wanted him to work out because they wanted him to be their little um, do boy for the workout. So now that he is putting the ball in his court again and telling them like, no, you got to you have to play by my rules and you're going to play how the game supposed to go. So now they mad at him and they got everybody else trying to go against him and rally against him saying that he did that in the third because he don't want to get tricked by the NFL. I think that's bogus. If you <laughs> going into a job and they tell you, yeah, we pay everybody else this amount. We paying you this amount because we don't feel we we know you can perform up to to tip to spec. You know what I'm saying? That's cook terms. But we know you can perform up to duties. But we just simply feel you came inside with a an orange shirt and we don't like your orange shirt. So now we finna kind of blackball you because you got an orange shirt on. You know, something like that. That's even though this is uh what Colin Kaepernick did and what he tried to bring attention to is way more important than just an orange shirt, but you know what I'm saying. Hold on one second, y'all. Right, so I just feel that if y'all gonna bash the man for doing something to try to help bring attention to something and he did it in a peaceful way, ask yourself, like a, a friend told me, ask yourself, what are you doing? You know, what are you doing to to help the everyday struggle of yourself or your culture? What are you doing to stop uh, brutality in your area? What are you doing to stop drugs going on? What are you doing to stop human trafficking? What are you doing to stop um, the government from, from taking all your rights away? If you're not doing nothing about it, you can't sit there and be mad at Colin Kaepernick for actually getting up and doing something about it and those like him. Because I'm trying to do the same thing. I'm trying to change the world bit by bit. Why not? We all live here and I want to make my house comfortable and applicable for people that want to visit. You know, Earth is is everybody's house, basically. We all live on Earth. So this is basically like our crib. We got to take care of it. You know, you got to keep your your, your streets clean. You got to keep the people around you trustworthy. You got to do certain things to advance the people that's with you and the people that ain't with you. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to look out for more than yourself. And in religious terms, in Christianity, that they preach that all up and down. You know, look out for the other man. You know what I'm saying? Help your fellow brother. And do all that And to me that's what What Kaepernick was trying to do But I guess it got interpreted As him being rebellious Or Him not being um, Subjugated To the NFL's rules Even though The NFL can change their rules On a drop of a dime Any way shape or form they want to So And also remember Colin Kaepernick did Have a lawsuit against The NFL He did win because he did prove that they were blackballing him over something that was his own free speech. You know, the First Amendment ain't the First Amendment when it's going against somebody else's opinion. So that's why you got to pick and choose your battle sometimes with these these people because they'll, they'll try to take your own gun, shoot you with it, and say that you shot yourself. You know, which is basically what all these detractors like like Stephen A and and a lot of them other cats is saying about him. You know what I'm saying? But it's also refreshing to see that some people are sticking up for Colin Kaepernick. Like, yo, he did what he did because they tried to play him. My whole thing is that's my basis to my argument. If you were going into a situation and you know it was fishy, and then you peep the details and seen in the details, like, oh no, they are trying to play me. I'm not finna have that. How could you be mad at somebody else for doing the same exact thing you would do if you was finna get a basketball contract and the contract was said, hey, we're gonna pay you every other week this amount of money. 
but you see on another NBA um, person saying you see on another NBA person's contract that they get paid every single game. So now you like, hold on, why am I getting tweaked? Now I know it's this thing is like two way contracts and stuff like that, but let's just eliminate that and just say it was a contract where you get paid every week, period. And that was just the basis of how you get paid. I don't, I don't think that's the um, how they get paid in the NBA, but and all that. But you know, let's just say it was like the contract was just basically saying you get paid every single game this amount. Then somebody basically went in there, reworded some of the language in the contract to tweak it to to where they can save a little bit of money. At the same time, still give you money, but give you a little less without you knowing. So now you just like, okay, I'm getting played. You're not gonna, you're not gonna go for that. Any real person <laughs> that respects themselves is not gonna let themselves get played, knowing you don't have to. So, in my opinion, um, if you mad at that man for standing for something, you should be ashamed of yourself. If you don't want to stand for nothing, then go in the corner with the rest of the people that don't want to stand for nothing and, and keep busting out noise and watch the people that actually want to do something and go on to work, work. So that was just my opinion. So a couple of the little facts is that Colin Kaepernick and his lawyers went, seen the waiver and see the waiver he was supposed to sign and seen that it was an untraditional waiver and it had of clauses in it that were highly, highly skeptical. So highly, highly skeptical. So what they did was they went over, did their research, matched this contract with this contract, and figured out that this ain't the way to go. This ain't this ain't um this ain't this ain't cool right here. So what they did, that's when they switched the the whole workout, the location and everything. And also within that um that waiver he couldn't have the media present now if you're doing a a workout to show that you can do a professional sport you want people to see even um high-ranking nfl owners because they're not going to be there but they can just flick on a television and see you hurling the ball through the air you know or running routes they can easily see that so for them to cut off media access was already fishy and with that they was just basically like no nope we're not going for this so that's when they invited the media and they invited the teams that really wanted to see him work out y'all come over here it's 45 minutes away from um the atlanta site the atlanta falcon site but still if you want to come see me come see me and that was the that's the whole reason that this thing fell apart and everybody now realizing that the NFL was trying to pull a quick one and they got caught trying to pull a quick one. Now they, they trying to do, um, burn damage. <laughs> they trying to do a recall, you know, they trying to do uh, damage control and wipe it and, and basically try to flip the story as in Colin Kaepernick was just being an arrogant person and decided he didn't want to do it on our terms on at his leisure. And he wanted to do it how he wanted to do it. He turned into a personal stunt. So they started their smear campaign with that. And they threw Jay-Z name in there because, of course, yeah, for some reason, he's the king of black people to them. And they act like we really move off of what Jay feel and what Jay do. You know, no disrespect to, to him or nothing like that. But I don't. I don't move off of his time or his words. So. You know, it is like that. So that just let me know that this wasn't um, going to be a good look for Cap. So to me, I think he continuing to try to represent for what he was basically trying to bring light to. And he's still representing letting you know that he not steering from that. And I think it was a good thing that he took his own transgressions into his own hands and didn't let them folks play him. That's tight with me. I know other people are going to be like, oh, no, F Colin Kaepernick, all this, all that. Cool. You got your opinions. If I want to know what your views are on this myself. So if you listen all the way 
through the end of the video and you hear with this part, y'all go ahead and drop something in the comments, man, to let me know um, how y'all feel about this and all that good stuff. So with that being said, you already know what it is, man. It's your boy, Top Dot. It's been Topic Tuesdays. We out this thing. Peace.